This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF Earth. Seriously, bro. Part 26. The Joker is wild. These are some wild and weird and strange wacky times. Wouldn't you agree? In 3,000 years, it's but the blink of an eye to the universe. Dang. Shucks. The Joker is wild. All right, so here's the deal. Comet Ison was found November 2011. Comet Ison was then discovered and named September 2012. Doctored science and professional astronomers went all in on their very first play. Comet of the century, possibly 10 to 15 times brighter than the full moon. Then, for every other play since, they've had a poker face. For seven straight months, they've had like a poker face within a poker face. An enigma wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in a poker face, within a poker face. And then they threw the Joker card on the table. Through the Hubble, raw data, they threw the Joker card on the table. I found it July 23rd, 2013. BP Earthwatch discovered it the 19th of August, 2013. And through his presentation, it got kicked up a notch or two. You see, just like a comet, a.k.a. Dirty Snowball, a.k.a. Fiery Cat Dragon Duck Seed, this story crossed the frost line and greatly increased in magnitude of brightness. And, uh, well, I would say overall magnitude. And me, I had to take a couple days off just to deal with all the raw data that's out there. There's a lot of raw data these days on Earth, on the Sun, on the solar system, on the galaxy, on the universe, on the atmosphere, on the weather, on the war, on economics, and on Skynet. It's like nothing but a tsunami of raw data coming in fast and furious. It's hard to keep up with it and stay sane. Do you know what I'm saying? So when people became aware of the strange, weird, and bizarre shape that was in the Hubble raw data, People were befuddled, bewildered, and I'll admit, astonished. Is it a ship? Is it one big celestial body being orbited by two smaller celestial bodies? Is it something else? Is it a neutron star, Planet X, Nibiru? Well, I believe the official answer of all super ivory tower science told to us by their third-hand scientists, what they said, and I'm paraphrasing, It's only parallax. Now shut up and go find your prize in a box of Cracker Jacks and relax, buy more things, and then go back to work. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Status quo, situation, all good in your hood. Just parallax, dumbasses. That's the reason a dirty snowball looks like a starfighter. So there you go. There you have it. Calm down, stand down, pay no attention. The Joker is wild. That was my one-page version of the situation so far. You know, and I was thinking that the best way possible for the IAU, the ESA, NASA, all college professorian scientists, astronomer guys to dispel the confusion about the shape of Ison in these photographs, put everybody in the know, is by releasing the photographs from the deep impact imaging that was scheduled to take place August 9th and 10th. And then I think a camera around Mars was supposed to pick it up around the 20th. So if they would have just released those photographs to the public, they wouldn't have to explain the wonky definition of parallax and how somehow parallax has been injected into the vernacular for comet icing. But honestly, and I say this from the heart, please do not blame NASA. People made up of the right stuff. NASA was once America's best and brightest. And then I don't know if you remember this, but 9-11 happened and the whole world changed. Nothing would ever remain the same. And somehow, somewhere in there, for our quote unquote safety, the powers that be took over the took over the wheel and began to steer the ship. So whatever NASA is or isn't doing is based on orders. They are doing the best they can. Space is corporate now, baby. Haven't you heard? Golden iPhones, bitches. It's the future. So that's the score. And it appears like we the people might be winning this three card Monty game. We feel like we know which shell our peanut is under. Right? Am I right? Yeah, that's the ticket. Shell number one, Ison is a dud. Shell number two, Ison is magnificent. Shell number three, it's a Klingon ship, a neutron star, Planet X, Nibiru, or a black hole with legs. There are no other options. You hear me?
Don't ask questions or else you'll end up wearing a tinfoil hat behind a fence in a UNFEMAR camp for your own safety and the comfort of the rest of the world, of course. But hey, in way more important news, dude, the royal baby is happy. And I hear he got himself some fantastic new clothes. Kim and Kanye showed off their first baby pictures to the world, which Jay-Z, Beyonce, Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, and the ghost of Ike Turner were extremely happy about. Ooh, and Bradley Manning wants a vagina. And Ben Affleck is now Batman. Fear. Chaos. It's fear. The Joker is wild. Did you know that two of Mars's moons are named chaos and fear. And 3,000 years is but the blink of an eye to the universe. Can't we all just learn to live well together and give up all this stupid fighting crappity crap, crap, crap? I believe in superheroes. So come on, save the day. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, L-E-T-S-G-O. Telling you a better world is better for everybody. I hope I'm still allowed to say all that and all this. Sweet, double sweet. Okay, thanks. We are all God's children. Every one of us. Every one of us. Every one of us. We are all God's children. God bless everyone.